Not many things upset parents quite like changing where their children go to school. And tonight, the Guilford County School Systems recommending not only doing that, but closing four campuses altogether. Swan Middle School, along with three elementaries, Archer, Wiley, and Murphy Traditional Academy. Good evening. Welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordine. The district got the idea back in 2019 when it started to survey its nearly 130 schools. Now that survey identified a need to rebuild 22 schools, renovate 19, prioritize repairs at 56, build seven new campuses, and close 13 more. Fox 8's Cassie Fambro sat through tonight's school board meeting that just wrapped up within the last hour or so. Cassie, after hearing this proposal, what is next? Well, Katie and Neil, Superintendent Dr. Wendy Oakley did make a point to say this should not be a shock to parents at these schools. They've already had interactions and sort of forums for parents as well as staff members and that all staff members are actually going to be able to keep their jobs. Now, I want to walk you through this proposed plan. The proposed plan is to close Murphy Traditional Academy, Wiley Elementary, and reassign those students to Peck and Faust, both of which will soon have brand new sparkling facilities. The existing Murphy and Wiley properties would become what's called swing space, which means the district can use it as they want to. The proposal would also close Swan Middle School and reassign those those kids to Mendenhall and Kaiser Middle Schools. Archer Elementary would be transformed into a Montessori magnet school and welcome the students over from Irwin. They've been sharing space with Alamance Elementary since 2018 after that big tornado in the same year. There's a lot of components um, that we use to, to come to that decision. Um, primarily for us, it was the age and condition of our facilities as well as the, um, the small enrollment. Um, transportation plays a part in it um, and just being more efficient with, our, um, with the community's tax dollars. And at the December 12th meeting, there will be a public hearing right here at GCS headquarters for parents and community members to weigh in. But the board does plan to make its decision in December so they could go ahead and get the ball rolling before spring semester starts. More coming up at 11 for now live in Guilford County. Cassie Fambro, Fox 8 News. See you in about an hour, Cassie. Thank you.